following contest is scheduled for one fall. About to make his way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He weighs in at 251 pounds. This is the franchise, Shane Douglas. The leader of the new franchise does not take losing well. And I can tell you that he was furious about his loss to Chris Harris two weeks ago tonight. And Don West, that defeat, in my mind, a double-edged sword. Not only did Douglas feel like he let his new associate, Jeff Jarrett, down, but then he turned around and placed the flame for the loss on Chris Harris's tag team partner, James Storm. We just saw it in the video package. Storm, the perfectly placed kick on Douglas just before Harris hit the spear. And what a temper Shane Douglas has, and yes, he was furious about that loss. tonight as we take another look at Johnny Fairplay from Survivor. We mentioned it earlier, the editor of the Star Magazine, I think the West Coast Bureau Chief, Brenda Yu as well, as uh, Johnny Fairplay hobnobs with the Hollywood set at ringside here at the TNA Asylum. You know, if Johnny Fairplay's in the house, especially in the front row, keep your eye on it because it can't be good. As James Storm just takes Shane Douglas out of the ring. And here he goes! Oh, look at Storm! Slingshot into the cross body block and takes down Douglas and and then we see Storm momentarily distracted by Tracy at ringside as well. Now goes back to Douglas, rolls him back into the ring. You know James Storm is happy for Chris Harris. You know he's happy for his partner. And he wants him to win that world title from Jeff Jarrett. But this is also a chance for him to let the people know, hey, don't forget about me. I'm still out here. I'm still a half, the other half of America's most wanted. And I'm as good at this ring as anybody. And this is a to show it. Tennessee Cowboy raining down those right hands on the side of the head of Shane Douglas. And now going to fire him off. Douglas tries to counter it, shoots him off. The float over by Storm attempted a super kick, came up short, and Douglas drops down. Storm goes for the cover, and again, Tracy is distracting the referee, Rudy Charles. Have you ever seen a challenger, Don, more focused than James Storm's tag team partner, Chris Harris, is tonight? I'll tell you what, he's ready. I mean, everybody asks that question. I hope you see Storm get a little revenge right there with Tracy. But A.J. Styles feels he's ready. I think everybody in this building feels he's ready. And we're going to find out later tonight. Wow, Storm tried to skin the cat and get back into the ring. And the wily veteran Douglas connected with the dropkick. You know, I tried to I tried to interview Chris Harris earlier today. He turned down my interview request. He said he couldn't be distracted at all. That shows you how incredibly focused he is on the task at hand, which is his first ever nationally televised shot at the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Hey, not only that, Mike, I mean, it's no secret that Chris Harris is, is one of my good friends here in TNA. Wouldn't even speak to me. Just wouldn't even, and it was, you know, it wasn't like, you know, don't take offense to it. He is so focused on the match at hand, he didn't want one single distraction. Douglas, measuring storm. 
drives the boot into the top of the head. Douglas out of the corner, loves to snap oh, the neck back, and that's exactly what he does, one of his patented moves out of the corner. The methodical yet effective offense of the leader of the new franchise, Shane Douglas, as he motions to Tracy to come up to the ring apron, as she does. He's taking advantage right now. He's got the momentum on James Storm, but he needs to, I mean, what is he doing right here? I mean, you don't let a guy like James Storm get him time to regroup. I mean, you got to go right at him and see there. That's exactly what I'm talking about. better in these situations. Don't often see Douglas go top rope high risk, and maybe we saw why it sure didn't pay off that time. Series of running, charging, close lines by Storm. Storm is taking total control right here, almost got the pin. Storm takes Douglas. Ooh, right back. Didn't shoot him off into the ropes. Instead, cut him on the side right two. leg sweep and got a two count. Shane Douglas just got the shoulder up in time. The momentum has completely turned around right here as James Storm is in total control. Back elbow, oh, mid. Mid ring power slam. Two. two. He's got it. No. no, he just got the shoulder up. Again, back to the offensive. Go Storm. Look at this, just one right after another, just taking it to Shane Douglas. Cut him with the back body drop. I thought for a second he was motioning there for the super kick. Here Tracy he up on the apron it's... again. Oh, just missed it, got it caught in the ropes. The distraction oh. of the referee, and the belly to belly by Douglas. He's got him pinned, but this is backfiring on him right here, Mike. What the heck going on him? here? Tracy's got the referee distracted, and I don't think she realizes that Shane Douglas had him pinned. Unbelievable! Oh, oh my my man. Man. really How about him. that super kick, dude? Yes! To win on the match! Oh boy! Shane Storm! The best laid plans of the new franchise just went up in flames! Oh, Tracy was trying to help him, but in her process of distracting the ref, didn't realize that Shane Douglas had taken control of the situation and had him pinned. She caught Shane Douglas the match! And he's not going to be happy with that. Tracy, you're right, spent too much time distracting the senior official, referee Rudy Charles. That allowed James Storm to recover, hit the super kick, and yes, he beat Shane Douglas. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, you got you. Oh, man. You know, we talked about this earlier, how furious he was about the loss two weeks ago. You know about his temper. Oh, look at this. And she's trying to apologize to him. He's not having none of it, Mike. I mean, he takes every loss and every win so personally, and you can't blame him, but I don't know, Don, with, with the attitude that he has, with the temper that Shane Douglas has, is he really the right person to lead this new franchise group? Wait a minute. Oh, oh, boy, what are you doing? Doing? I remember this time out. What? He's not liking the way he treats Tracy you know, I, I mean, we've seen a little friction between these two in the past couple of weeks, but nothing like this. Oh, They're nose to nose. They're face to face. I think Michael Shane's trying to come out here and, and, and help Shane Douglas get a grip on himself. Now you can see him. Do you read, to read his down. lips? Exactly. He said, calm down. Michael Shane, I think, just didn't like the way he was treating Tracy. He didn't feel like that was the right move at this point. Shane Douglas looks like it's working, though, Mike. Did you notice that? Douglas just asked Tracy if she's okay. Did he, did he say, I'm sorry? I'm sorry. Did he say that? Wow, what, a, what, an, what an uneasy situation. I apologize to anybody. I, you're not kidding. What a strange, unique, and, and very uneasy situation here as we certainly see some friction among the members of the new franchise. Well, the franchise is probably just, he's so close to losing it, he aligned himself with Jeff Jarrett, then he got embarrassed. Got, he lost to Chris Harris, he lost to Chris loses Harris. the storm tonight. Oh, he's got to feel like it's falling apart. Tracy ended up costing him that match, and she did end up costing him that match. Ah, to see if we got peace and harmony right here in the new the, franchise. They, they maintain the eye contact to the back. Scott Hudson with the NWA World Champion, Jeff.